Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Vanilla Cream back with another episode of Pygmy Sports News. And as you can tell by the title, the Nationals did it. So, yesterday was Game 7 of the World Series. The game decides the winner of this baseball season. And as you can tell by the title, the Nats did it. I'm repping with the Nats jersey today. It's a Harper jersey. Don't clown me. I got it like when he was with the team. Obviously, I know he's no longer with the team. It's my only Nats jersey. Go Nats. Yesterday. The Nats put Mad Max Crazy Scherzer on the mound. And he wasn't his dominant. I'm going to give you solid eight innings. He gave you a solid five. Obviously, wasn't the best five because he did allow two runs to score. Or he gave up two runs, obviously. He gave up a home run to Gurio and Correa singled, which scored Alvarez. So he only gave up two runs. But other than that, every other, he was dominant after those little mistakes. Gave it over to the bullpen. The bullpen did their job and held the Strohs to two runs. And that's what you got to do. If you can hold the Astros to under five runs, you have a high chance and a way better chance of winning the game. On the opposite side, the Astros had Zach Greinke pitching. And you could get to Zach Greinke because he's good, but you, he, can, he can have a bad inning. And it just snowballs from there, and that one bad inning, and then it just continues to go bad, and then you yank him out. And look, guess who scored for the Nationals? Take a wild guess on who scored for the Nats. That's right, Anthony Rendon. what I tell you? what I say? What did I say? Anthony Rendon is that man. I told you he'll come up big, he'll come up clutch, he'll get you the points. He hit an absolute shot, 374 feet. Something because it like hit the wall, it would have went further if the Astros had a real stadium. But I digress. He hit a shot nonetheless, made it 2-1. Anthony, Ren I told you, Mr. Consistent and Mr. Clutch in big moments, you know what you're getting with Anthony Rendon. It's that simple. Then, we're going to talk about Howie Kendrick's home run. When I tell you he hit that down the line, I got off my seat, stood up, threw my hands in the air, because either way, I was either going to be really extremely upset it went foul, or really happy it went over the fence. And guess what it did? It went over the fence. It went over the fence. That's how you do it. Well, it didn't go over the fence. It hit the foul pole, which is a home run. But it doesn't matter how you hit the home run. As long as it's a home run. That's what it is. Made it 3-2. Now you're up. Now you're up. And it's the, like the seventh inning. You're up. And now you have to face the bullpen of the Astros, which can flip-flop at any given moment. Any given moment, it can flip-flop. It could be a lights-out dominant, and that's all you're getting. Or they could do what they did yesterday and allowed another three runs to score. Had the Nats blow this game open. Nats win 6-2. That's how it could be. And let's, let's talk about the young kid who just turned 21. So he was finally allowed to drink at a celebration of the Nats. Mr. Juan Soto. Juan Soto was the reason. Was, a, was one of the reasons. The Nats could score because he got on base. Either he scored the run or was the scoring run, if that makes sense. He either hit the bomb or was on base when the bomb was hit. He has such mature at-bats for someone who's three months older than me. Four, I suck at math. Juan Soto had the at-bats that allowed them to score more runs, which allowed the Nats to Obviously, win the game. Now, to the MVP of the World Series. And it's none other than Steven Strasburg. He pitched two very critical games for them. Game 6 was a must win. Obviously, because if they lost, they were going home. He pitched beautifully in Game 6. Beautifully 
in game six. That game that game six gave all the momentum to the Nats for yesterday's game. One hundred percent, without a doubt. Steven Strasburg's not on the mound. It's over. Houston Astros win the World Series. I'd cry. Simple A is that. Not to mention, you get the MVP, you get a nice brand new 2020 Corvette, you get a World Series, You're first, you were the first pick in one of their drafts, you finally win it with one team, beautiful. Max Scherzer bounced around with Cy Young, won all these titles, finally got the elusive ring. Juan Soto's 21, Mans was just called up, got his first ring. Trey Turner's been in the league for like four years. Got his first win. The Nats' oldest team in the MLB with a couple of dashes of young talent. And they pulled it off. Not because of the hitting. Because the pitching and the bullpen shut down the Astros. And as always, like my dad would say, pitching and defense wins championships. And that's exactly what the Nats had. They put on a defensive show yesterday. They put on a pitching show yesterday. The offense was like, oh, y'all having all the fun. We going to pop off now too. Y'all having fun with y'all making plays. Y'all striking out guys in three pitches. We want in on this. It's a team sport. And the offense like, Galoke popped up, jumped on it. it was just, that's, why I, that's why I like the, the game of baseball. Not one superstar is going to win you a championship. Mike Trout's the greatest player. But them sorry angels ain't been in the playoffs. No knock to Bryce. Bryce had a fantastic first year with Philly. But it's a team sport. You could be a superstar all you want in baseball. You're only as good as your very last pitcher. Simple as that. If your fifth pitcher ain't good, you better hope your bullpen good. And if your bullpen ain't good... Well, you gonna do a lot. You gonna do what I do: sit at home all day and cry. That simple. That simple. To to so to sum up this video and to sum up this baseball season, the best team won. When everyone counted them out, they pulled up. Congrats to the Nationals. Suck it, Astros. It's the Yankees next year. That's all I'm gonna say. We coming 2020. New York, all day, every day. No, I'm not a fraud. I just happen to like Bryce Harper and he was with the Nats. And this happens to be my only Nationals jersey. But it's the Yankees next year. Bet money on it. Bet money on it. So, again, it's it's been real. I'm your boy, Vanilla Cream. Happy Halloween. And I will see all of y'all in my next video, which is tomorrow. Because my Niners play tonight. Go Niners. Peace.